Every time I think about the Browns quarterbacks, I'm not going to hit myself in the head anymore about that. I'm like, I actually start to smile because there is another side of the ball. It's the defense. And we've had these defensive coordinators come in here before, and they're going to be the guys that are going to fix things. You know, Ray Horton has been here twice, or you could look at like when Eric Mangini was the head coach, and he was maybe going to fix it. Or um, Romeo Cornell was the head coach, but he was a former defensive coordinator of this. And I have to admit, I mean, I was intrigued by Greg Williams coming in, but I also know a lot of these other guys have been good coordinators or head coaches elsewhere defensively, and they got here and not much happened. Okay, it's the preseason. A lot can change. But if you really paid close attention to when the Browns played the Giants on Monday night, and the Giants were playing Eli Manning, Odell Beckham, Brandon Marshall, many of their starters, and they couldn't do much of anything with the Browns' defense, three points in the first half against the Browns' defense, basically starters against starters, suddenly you realize, I bet the Browns will have a good defense. And it's not just Greg Williams. Miles Garrett got his first sack. I watched. They're double-teaming him already all the time. Joe Schobert, who was kind of a throwaway from the 2016 draft, didn't know how to play him. Greg Williams has put him at middle linebacker. This guy's getting sacks. He's making plays. Jabil Preppers, first-round pick, 2017. He's all over the field. Joe Hayden actually played him some at safety. In fact, they were running formations in the defensive backfield. I wasn't even sure what they were doing, and that's, of course, the point. But on the front line, where we usually had four players up there on the front, they were playing fundamental football and stopping the run. That's what's been encouraging to me in the first two preseason games. The Browns are stopping the run. Remember, the Browns always rank anywhere from 28 to 32, it's only 32 teams against the run. That's, almost, that's been a constant since they came back. In fact, Phil Savage, who was the Browns general manager for four years, he and I were talking recently, and he said, you know, we always talk about the Browns' quarterback problems, and they're real, right, got that. But he said another, he goes, look at all the coordinators, look at where they've ranked against the run. They've always been in the bottom 10%. He said, part of the way you make the Browns a little better is you start stopping the run. Start stopping the run. Start stopping the run. I think this defense can do that. <laughs>